Look, there's a new guy. I seen that. I ain't never seen him before. You take his shoes, I'll take his money. I'm on it, man. Oh, man, I thought you was already dead. Get out of here! Go! It's all good. It's all good. Get out of here! Uh... Hey! Hey, mister! You okay? You don't look so good. I brought you some water. Here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! You was thirsty. Uh, where am I? You're under the Second Street Bridge. You don't remember how you got here? Oh, People like, just like you don't come and hang out down uh, here. Uh, here, let me help. Gary Frank, get over here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, come on, we help you. You okay? Uh, you can walk by yourself? Uh, Take care. What's your name? I don't know. Help me. Help me. Help me. Get away from me, you filthy uh, beggar. I'm gonna punch you in the face. to yourself. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, we have an ordinance in this town against panhandling. I don't even know what town I'm in. Just... What town am I in? What <laughs> town am I in? You trying to be a funny guy? I'm not trying to be funny. I just need to know where I'm at! You know what? Welcome to the city of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? Oh, where am I at? Doesn't matter where you're at. Who put me here? Who was in charge? Who's I a... am. I rule. Mm. As long as you're in here, I rule. Back away, man. Back hey, man, away. no one tells me to back away. I rule this. Guard! You need to get back to Mexico. Get south of the border. This ain't East L.A. Hey, guard! You! Come on, you need to know what you're doing in here and what you did to get in here. with some inmates. 
I'm sorry, what'd you say? I got beat up. You got beat up, huh? Yeah. My jaw is killing me too. I think it might be broken. Well, that's not good. Because we're going to be talking to the judge here in a minute, and you're going to have to speak up so she can hear you. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm your designated public defender. And your name? That's not important. You just need some kind of token representation because that's how this whole justice system works. Yeah, I don't have one either. You don't what? A name. I don't have one either. A name? Yeah, you do. It's right here. John. John? Yeah, John. John Doe. John Doe. Well, that's obviously not your real name. They probably booked you under the name John Doe because you were unresponsive. Unresponsive? I was knocked out. Right. So if I could just get your full name for the case file, please. What, what don't you understand? I got hit in the head. I don't know my name. I don't know nothing. I don't even know why I'm here. Why am I here? Listen, I don't have time for games right now. Okay? I'm not playing games here. I don't know. That's not good. Because the judge is going to want to know who you are. Don't you think I want to know who I am? Huh? Well, you'd be surprised. Listen, we don't have that much time. We need to go over your charges, okay? Charges? What am I even being charged with? What you did, okay? Here are the charges from the arresting officer. Aggressive panhandling and assault. I didn't do that. And you probably didn't. But this officer tends to exaggerate a little bit when it comes to filing charges. There you go, right? That's good. I plead not guilty then. Absolutely not. You plead guilty as charged. What? You heard me. You're going to plead guilty. I'm going to tell the judge that this is your first defense and she's going to let you walk out of here. So a defendant has to prove that he's innocent? You've been watching too much TV, Mr. Doe. Hey, look. I may not remember my name, but I do know the judicial system. Not in this jurisdiction, you don't. You see, if you plead not guilty, the judge is then going to have the arresting officer come in to testify. He's going to be angry. He's going to come up with all these new charges, and she's going to believe every word of it. So I plead guilty. You'll plead guilty and apologize. I'll plead guilty and I'll apologize. Still don't know your name. It's almost time for it. But what about the... Please rise. The Honorable Judge Patterson is now presiding. All right, let's move on to the next case. City versus John Doe. John Doe? Uh, yes, Your Honor, we're here. Well, I can see that. What's with this John Doe nonsense? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The defendant here is suffering with some memory issues as a result of a head injury. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. I was directing the question to the defendant. Yes, Your Honor. I can't hear you. Speak up. Yes, Your Honor. Oh my God, man, what happened to your head? I got beat up. While in custody, I suppose. Yeah, in my cell, I got beat up. And I suppose your head injury and memory loss are being blamed on the arresting officer? No, 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 I never said that, I never said. If I may interject, Your Honor, at no time did the defendant ever suggest to me that he was ever a victim of any kind of police brutality. Fine. So then the defendant would have no problem going on the record stating that he does not hold the city responsible for any injuries sustained while in custody? Correct, Your Honor. I want to hear it from him. Your Honor, I don't hold the city, the state responsible. Speak up. I do not hold the city or state responsible. Including the arresting officer. Including the arresting officer. Fine. Now, these charges against you. <laughs> Aggressive panhandling and assault. Can the defendant explain how he 
came to be arrested? Guilty. I'm guilty. Guilty. Did I ask you how you plead? No. <laughs> Did I ask your defendant how he pleads counselor? No, Your Honor. No, I did not. I simply asked the defendant to explain to me how he came to be arrested. I don't know. I don't remember. Very well, then. I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember. You don't remember? But you're ready to plead guilty. doesn't make any sense to me. Does that make any sense to you, Counselor? Well, the defendant has the utmost respect for the arresting officer, and he is willing to accept the charges that were issued and witnessed by him. Bull crap. You know, I now know what's going on with all these memory loss shenanigans. Your Honor? Yes. The defendant was homeless, and yes, he was out panhandling when he saw a police officer and thought he'd get himself arrested. Oh, and now he wants to become a ward of the state so he can get some free mental health care for this so-called amnesia. No, 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 no. I need help, but no. No, I'm not going to be a ward of anybody. I don't want to be the ward of anybody. I don't want to be the ward of anybody. Well, you'll get no help from me. I'm prepared to accept your plea and sentence you to the one night you've already spent in custody. But, Your Honor. But nothing. You know, here's a thought. Why don't you consider cleaning yourself up, finding a job, and supporting yourself? Huh? That's a novel idea. What do you think? Next case. Hey, Swampy, you hungry? You got some food left? Get out of here. Go dig it out of the trash, you lazy bum.
Not for long, we close at five. Look, I only I need a couple minutes. You? I need some assistance. How can I help you? With what? With what? Isn't it obvious? You'd be surprised how many people go to their local thrift store, they buy some rags, they dirty them up, and they come in here to try to scam the government. I'm trying to scam you, lady. I'm not trying to scam you. I'm not riffraff off the street, okay? You're gonna have to be more specific. Specific? I'm homeless. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in I don't know how long. I didn't hear anything at all about um, wanting to work, needing a job. I'm not afraid to work, lady. All right? Okay. I never said I wouldn't work. All right, then the first thing I need is your name. I don't know. Ida. First name, Ida, spelled I-D-A. We're both adults. I don't play games. I'm coming in here, being honest with you. Just need help. You're wanting public assistance without giving me any kind of identification. I have amnesia. I woke up under a bridge. I got robbed. I don't know who did this to me. I don't know my name. I don't know who I am. I don't know if I have family out there. I don't know. I don't know. I just need help. Please, will you help me? <laughs> You've been walking, wandering all over this town with a serious head injury. Yes, because nobody will help me. Everyone's being cold-hearted like you. Everybody! Sir, it's five o'clock. Thank you for stopping me. I'm not gonna go, all right? How many times do I have to tell you I need help? Huh? Huh? How many times? All right. What do you want me to do, huh? What do you want me to do, huh? Yes. Beg? Beg? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Please help me. Please.
you're willing to ride along with me. Really? Sophia, we can see you now. It's me. I need to talk to you. Just a second. I'll be right with you. I told the nurse in charge about your situation. She said she'd have the doctor look at you just as soon as he can. And I told her that you, you didn't know your name and that you don't have an ability to pay. So she's opening up a case file under John Doe. John Doe. You're an angel. Well, you're gonna have to be patient, you know. No pun intended. They're gonna work you in just as soon as the doctor can get you, and it might be a while. Okay? You're an angel. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Open your mouth. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Put put your chin down to your chest. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, oh right there. Yeah, there's a pretty big lump right there. Yeah. That looks pretty painful. Mm, it hurts. Okay. Okay. Bring your head back up. Okay. Any dizziness at all? Any any blurred vision? I got blurred vision, but I don't know if I need glasses. I can't. Okay. Any any indigestion? Are you sick to your stomach at all? I don't know. I haven't eaten. But, but you still have an appetite. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. Mr. Doe, I think you've had a concussion. Okay. I'm going to order a CT scan for you to see if you had any, any more damage to your, your skull or your brain. So I'll be staying here at the hospital, right? I, I don't know. I can't tell you that right now. It'll depend on what the CT scan shows. We'll be looking for, for a bleeding in the brain. Uh, we'll be looking for increased intracranial pressure. I thought okay. anybody with a head injury stays here. Not necessarily. Okay. Let's see what, let, we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. Let's see what the CT scan says, okay? And then we'll take it from there. Okay? So we'll frustrating. Out. I just want to get my life back. I just want to know who I am. Yeah. I want to go home. Yeah. <sighs> Frustrating. Yeah. Well, let's let's get this CT scan one thing at a time, okay? CT scan. We'll see what's going on there, and then uh, Thank you. I'll I'll be out to the uh, waiting room to see how you're doing. Okay. So frustrating. So okay. frustrating. I'll see you in a little bit. Mr. Doe, you awake? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you're getting some, some rest out here. Yeah. Okay, well, I got the results of the, of the CT scan. You do have a little bit of a skull fracture, okay? That should heal up on its own. And happily, there was no damage to your brain, okay? And the scratches and the cuts on your head, I really don't think they require sutures. Okay. So, my memory? When is okay. that coming back? Okay, well, the amnesia. I'm not a brain surgeon or a psychiatrist, but what I think you've got is post-traumatic amnesia, okay? Now, post-traumatic amnesia, 
your memory will probably come back in a couple of weeks. But total memory, it may take a couple of months. Two months? Possibly. Two months? Possibly. Possibly. Now, I've got some ibuprofen here for you for your, your headaches and your, your pain you're having there. Plus, I think we should get a hold of social services to get you into a homeless shelter. You'll heal up a lot faster if you're out of the elements. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I do have some good news. Yeah. Your jaw looks fine. Best wishes to you, sir. Thank you. Dude, you're like a zombie, and you need this. in our dumpster. Look, I'm just hungry. I'm just hungry, okay? You don't know whose dumpster this is? This is ours. Ours. You don't belong here, Stir, Don't you know? Everybody around here knows that. I'm just hungry. Uh-uh, you listen to me. You get out of my dumpster. Look, look. There's plenty for us to share. No. That's right? our pizza, man. I'll bring it up. No, I'll bring it up. We don't share. It's uh, our dumpster. You're going to have to do something. Right, look, this. look, look. Get this. Look, look. Give me, give me, give me, give me. What are you doing? See, we're teaching him a lesson one way. Yeah. Lesson, yeah. What are you doing? Are you gonna... Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Hold on. Somebody put a pallet in front of the dumpster. Problem. Somebody jammed the rod in the lid. Uh, what the heck? Uh, what are you doing in there? Get out of there. Somebody locked me in. Oh, get out of there. Oh, I can't get up. Oh, my leg. I said get out of the dumpster now. Oh, my leg. Oh, my leg. Oh.
I've got some ibuprofen here for you. Sorry, you look injured. Yeah. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, brother. 
So what brings you here today? Would you believe a dog? Excuse me? Yeah, a dog brought me here. I was at my lowest point. I was ready to give up. I was ready to end it all. And a dog brought me off those rails. A dog led me here. So you're saying a dog saved your life? Yeah. It's not much of a life, though. It's a life I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy. <laughs> well, that's nonsense. God didn't put you into this life for you just to end it on your own. Oh, yeah? If I was so important to God, explain this. Why would a God let me get injured in this way? Why would a God have me walk in the streets not knowing my own name? Not knowing if I have a family, if I have kids. Why would a God have me living under a bridge? Why would God let people be so mean to me that they won't even help me when I ask a question, huh? Explain that, Pastor. Well, I know this is not the time that you want me to say that God works in mysterious ways, but he does. Mysterious ways? Yes. Yeah, you got that right, Father. Mysterious ways. <laughs> Well, are, are you hungry? Yeah. Huh? I'm really hungry. Well, you sit right there because I'm going to get you some food and I'm also going to take you down to the closed donation room and we're going to get you something nice to wear. Here you are. I hope this is to your liking. Thank you. There's your spoon and your napkin. Thank you. Thank you. We eat up. All right. I'll be back. Wait. I brought you something. I brought you something. I told you I wouldn't forget you. Turned. Uh, well, I thought we lost you for good. No, I'm back. I told you I'd come back and finish our conversation, so I'm here. This is a time when I usually ask people what their name is, but I know you can't tell me that. No, I went to the doctors recently. They said it could be possibly weeks or months before I get my memory back. Months. All right, so presently you have no recollection of who you were prior to your injuries. That's what makes me upset. That's what makes me question my faith. Have you been born again? Have you been saved? Like Jesus Bible thumping saved? Is that what you're talking about? No, just born again. Accepted Christ. But this is different. If you was born again, Jesus has entered your heart and soul, and, and he still should be there. I know what you want me to say. I know what you're leading towards. You want me to validate your faith, right? I remember the day Christ entered my life, but even if I didn't, I would think I would still know that he was there guiding everything I do and say. I'd like to think I was saved. Well, do you pray? I haven't prayed since this happened. Maybe I prayed before this all happened. Maybe. I'd like to think I did. I think maybe in my heart I did. Even with your recent loss of memory, I would have thought you would have at least tried prayer, especially if you had previously been introduced to Christ. Previously introduced to Christ. Look at me. Look at me, Father. Do I look like a Christian to you? Look at me. Take a good, hard look. 
I am the image of someone who doesn't follow God. Look at this. I woke up and look what's on my hands. Look what's on my face. These are gang tattoos on my face. Is this a man who follows God? Is this a man who sits in here and prays? Well, looks can be deceiving. You know, you seem like a real kind and gentle man. A head injury doesn't bring about sudden empathy. <laughs> a thoughtful gentle man. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Thoughtful gentleman. Yeah. I wish no ill will towards anybody, and I have no malice in my heart. I even feel sorry for those that do. As Christ was dying on the cross, he forgave them that tormented him. You have the same attribute that Christ has in you. So what you're saying is that if you don't accept Christ in your heart, you can't be a good person, a kind person, a giving person? Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not saying that. There is plenty of agnostics people that are kind and good and loving, but your, your personality seems more resonant with Christian faith. I'd like to think I was saved. I'd like to think I'm that person that you think I am. Well, let's pray. Dear God, help this gentle and kind man realize who he is in Christ and bring his fond memories back of the life he lived before and help him remember those glorious times. In Christ Jesus' name, I pray, amen. We have nowhere to stay. Well, I assume you would like a bed for the night. And in the morning, I'd hope you would join us in the chapel for a sermon. All right. I'll be there. I prayed to you in the past. I hope I did. I see a bad man in the mirror and I hope that's not me. I hope I haven't hurt others. I need to know who I am. I need to know what I've done why I deserve this.
every day is the birth of a child. Whether it be the birth of a son or a daughter or a grandchild or our own birth. Of course, no one asked us if we wanted to be born or to whom we wanted born. From the moment we left the womb, we were suddenly thrust into an environment where we needed to learn to survive. We may have been born into a poor family or an abusive family and wonder why did God place us there? Instead of a grand mansion with nannies who would feed us the best baby food from silver spoons and fine china. But the greatest of God's miracles is not our physical birth, but our spiritual birth. Yes, I say the spiritual birth of a lost sinner into a spiritual life is the most miraculous gift that God can give to mankind. So why is spiritual birth more miraculous than physical birth? Huh? Because when we are born again, God allows us to escape the pains of death in this life and grants us eternal life in heaven. You know, when I was in seminary, Father Daniels asked us to describe the feeling of being born again. Us students, well, we knew we were born again and had Christ in our hearts, but man, we had great difficulty putting that into words. You know, I still have my notes from that day. Still have them right here. And this is how Father Daniels explained the spiritual state of being born again. To be born again doesn't mean that a good person just becomes more of a good person. Or that a moral person just becomes more of a moral person. Or that a church member becomes an even better church member. To be born again means that a spiritually bankrupt person gains all the promises and blessings that God promises to those who are His. It means that a totally depraved, wicked person is completely cleansed of all his or her sins. It means that a person who has absolutely nothing to give to God can receive the greatest gift that they possibly can receive, and that is eternal life. It means that someone who is completely and totally rotten to the core can become a child of God. Who is that spiritually bankrupt person that is rotten to the core, that has nothing to offer God? That person is you, and that person is me. Now I would like to read from the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, I know you're a teacher, a man from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born again when they are old? Nicodemus said. Surely they cannot enter a second time in their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised by my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the spirit. Tell me, brothers, is there anyone here who wants to hear the sanctifying sound of God's breath blowing through their soul?
There you are. There you are. Don't you leave me. Don't you leave me, okay? We're partners. Okay? Okay? Don't leave me again. I don't know if I'm doing this right. The dog brought me here. The dog brought me off the ledge. The dog saved my life. I don't understand a God. God who would do this to me. A God who leave me severely beaten that I don't even know who I am. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do? Do you hate me that much? Why do you hate me? <sighs> Pastor asked me if I've invited you in my heart. If I've been born again. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I can't answer him. <laughs> He says I should know, even if I don't have a memory. I wish I could, but I can't lie. To validate his faith. I don't even know if I've done this before. Beside me, guiding me, walking next to me. It's hard, and I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't know how hard it is. I don't want to be alone. Tell me you love me.
on, man. Here, there, everywhere. Know what I mean? Just trying to stay warm, bro. Find some food. I hear you, man. Yeah. What you do, man? Man, I'm a groundskeeper, man. I'm picking up trash and dog poop all day in this huge, big old park. Yeah. How is it, man? Is it, is it as awesome as I think it is? I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> it's no fresh air, really, because you got a smelly bag of garbage you're carrying around all day and putting strain on your arms and back. I would Plus, die. the manager pays me 30 bucks a day. Cash? Yeah. But it's under the table. She thinks that she's helping out the underprivileged. Uh, people like me who is doing her job while she kicks back in her air conditioned office. Let me tell you something, brother. Look at the beauty out here. I don't care, it's raining, bro. This is God's creation, man. Just, I would die. I would die to have a job like yours. Yeah, what you doing? Thinking of quitting? Actually, I have been. What? If you're interested, I'll hand my job over to you right now. I'll give you this rod and this bag, and I'll take you right over to the supervisor's office so you can check in with her. You're not it's driving right over me, there. Right? No, no, man, no. It's right over there by the uh, public restrooms. You're not driving? No. Really? Dude, how about that vest? You give me that vest, man, that's a deal maker. The deal was made. Oh, man. Dude, you are kidding me. I'm not kidding, man. Oh, man, how do I look? How do I look? You look like a groundskeeper. Man, I have found my own replacement, and I didn't even leave the supervisor high and dry. Kelly, did you receive that message in regards to the event that's coming up next week? We have to be out by 3.30? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Excuse me. Don't tell me another one quit again. Yes, ma'am. But if you give me a shot, these grounds out here will be immaculate. There will be no trash out there, and I promise you, you're going to be happy you hired me. Are you down on your luck, fella? Truthfully, I am. Woke up under a bridge, head injury. Can't remember nothing. No family or friends to help out? I don't know if I have kids, family, nothing. Well, you know what? I'm gonna help you out. At least as far as a job goes. Really? Yes, I will. I will. Ma'am, I notice you have a garage out back there. You think me and my dog can possibly sleep there? Wait a minute, though. Just until I regain my memory and get on my feet. I promise you. You know what? I suppose so. As long as you take care of everything, you don't take anything, keep the place neat, don't make a mess. No, I then promise, I promise you. you we're going to keep that place clean and you're not going to be disappointed. Now, let me ask you, did my ex-employee, did he explain what the job entails? Yes, ma'am. He said cleaning up stuff, cleaning up poop, just making sure the place is really spick and span. Also, disposing of the trash in the dumpsters um, behind the restrooms. Um, Wait, you said dumpster? Yes. Does that dumpster have a lock on it? Yes, why? Has anyone ever fallen in and gotten stuck? Not that I have heard of. You sure? Yes, nothing. No one All right, has no. happened before. No, I'm good, I'm good. Just making sure. I can do this. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, let me ask you, uh, in regards to salary, it pays $30 cash per day. Will that work out for you? Cash? Say no further. Say no further. It's good as long as now me and my dog are going to eat. Well, you know what? Welcome aboard. I'm happy to have you here. I see you like dogs. I do, I do. There we are. Well, welcome aboard. It's nice to have you here. Of oh, course. thank you so much. I'm happy to help you out. Did I get your name? No. People call me John. As in John Doe? No. As in John 3.16. Ah, for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son. And those that shall believe in him shall not perish. But have everlasting life. 
I like it. Like it a lot. Welcome. Yep. I'm not gonna be disappointed. Very good. I you know. Are I not just gonna be disappointed. And I won't quit. Oh. I'll see you soon, boss. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> bye bye. Ma'am, your phone. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, thanks. She's nothing without her phone, buddy. Hey, thank you for that meal the other day. That was much appreciated. Oh, man, was that you, buddy? I'm so sorry. Me and my girl here, we're just, we're just having a bad day, and I didn't mean to take it out on Don't you. Don't explain. Hey, I forgive you. God bless you. You too, buddy. Don't act all so high and mighty to me. You were laughing too when I threw that food in the trash. Well, yeah, I laughed, but when I turned around and saw that man in the garbage, I felt really bad. I just... I even asked God if he would forgive us for how we treated him. I don't know, I just... I really hope that meeting him today it meant that he forgives us and God forgives us too. Honey, I do think you may be right. Hey, isn't that the guy we pushed in the creek before? Why do you say we help him get a big gulp from that creek? That buffoon is all out. Let's go. See anything? Oh, crack the chainsaw. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey! What are you guys doing? Dang it. Get out of our way. I swear I'll cut you in half! What? What happened? I don't know. Stop. Maybe, maybe it ran out of gas. Or, or maybe. I don't know. Maybe. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, protected me. What? Put it uh, back. No, no! Put it back! Just knew it, brother. Put this all back. All right. I'll put it back. When I got this job, I was made responsible for every single tool in this place. And if one goes missing, I lose my job. So, these tools are more important than your life? Listen, mister, we learned our lesson. Just let us leave, please. A rusty chainsaw? That was worth taking another man's life? I, I, I don't... You want to go to jail for the rest of your life? I don't... I, Is that no. what you want? No, sir. Huh? Is it worth it? How much did you think you were going to get from that chainsaw? I don't, maybe, maybe 20 bucks. 20 bucks, huh? Maybe. Look. 20 bucks. You give us $20? I... I just tried to kill you. Yeah. But it'll stop you from living this kind of life. We could show you some money, sir. We... We have a sister at home. We got her feet. Yeah. How old are you guys? 16. Yeah? You guys can get a job, right? Should be working for money. Not doing this. You want to be away from your mom and sister? Is that it? No, sir. Come down to the mission tomorrow. I know the pastor there. He'll help you guys get jobs. Earn money the right way. Yeah? I could do that. Thank you, sir. I can't repay you. That's all right. Go. Heavenly Father, guide these boys in the way they're supposed to go, and protect them, Lord Jesus. Amen. Boy! Really? Hide in there? Oh.
Father. How you doing? Oh, good. So, where you been staying, my son? You know what? I actually got a job. Can you believe that? Oh, wow. I'm working down at the city park as a maintenance worker. Yeah, supervisor, she's letting me stay in the adjacent garage. Things are looking up. If I can oh. get this memory right, I think I'll be good. Well, you know you're always welcome here. You, you do know that. Yeah, I know that, and I appreciate that. But I ain't gonna take a cop from someone out there that needs her more than me. Well, I do appreciate you stopping in now and again. Yeah, gotta tell you something though. I invited a couple of teens up to no good down at the park, but uh, invited them down. Maybe we can help them find a job. What do you say? Sure, sure. Be glad to. Thank you, thank you. I can always depend on you. Well, thank appreciate you. Appreciate that. Speaking of the devil, or should I say, ex devils, right, boys? Well, gentlemen, take a seat. These are the young men I was telling you about. Oh, okay. I hope you're delaying your servicing. Now the service can wait. Uh, the Lord has more pressing work for me to do now. Mom was, she was really grateful for the money you gave us last night. We, we really appreciate that. I'm glad it could help. You uh, boys in school? Not right now because of summer break. But this fall, I'll be a sophomore, and my brother here will be a junior. Hmm. That's great. Uh, so, as far as working hours, you're pretty flexible until school starts back up. I don't think that'll matter much. Well, why do you, why do you say that? Because we don't think people would want people like us working for them. Nobody wants us. Not even our father wants anything to do with us. Listen, you can't concern yourself with what others think. Before he left us, our dad said we was all worthless and didn't want to see us no more. Look, look, you don't say that about yourself, all right? Look at me, I'm all covered in tattoos. You don't think I get judged? You don't think people out there judge me? I have to prove, I've been trying to prove the last couple days that I ain't that person that they see. You both are good in the eyes of the Lord. Well, I don't know why anyone would want to hire a couple of dummies like us. I don't say it. Do you think your brother's dumb? Look at him. Is he dumb? No. Is he dumb? Of course not. Then? Yeah, but other people don't see it that way. Even the teachers in school say that they're just pushing us along from grade to grade just to get rid of us. Don't worry about what others think. What you guys need to concern yourself with is proving them wrong, right? Prove them wrong. Your mother, she needs you, right? I think she needs you more than what you guys think, right? That's why we decided to come here if you helped us out. Exactly. Happy you did, man. I'm, I'm so sorry for trying to hurt you last night. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I wish I was dead. Hey, nah, nah, nah. You don't say that. No. No, don't say that. You're... Look at me. I forgive you. All right? Worry about being an example to him. Mm-hmm. Can we be excused for a moment? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and uh, have a seat in, in the chapel. Okay, don't go anywhere, right? We'll be right up. You know, I don't know what happened last night, and I don't know if I want to know. No, you don't. But God, He works in mysterious ways. You're right about that. He sure does. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm really glad to see everybody here. Do you want to hear about Jesus today? Even though he had done many good deeds and helped many people, Jesus wasn't originally regarded as the Son of God. His fellow Jews ignored his righteous acts 
and tried to use his words against him. While attending a celebration inside the temple, other Jews demanded that he declare himself the Son of God. Jesus answered, The works that I do bear witness about me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them from my hand. My Father gave me the sheep, and no one is greater than him. He and I are one. When Jesus left the temple, his detractors followed him outside. They had taken issue with Jesus' comment that he and the Father are one. They began to collect rocks with the intention to stone Jesus to death. Jesus faced the angry mob and said, I have done many good works. For which do you stone me? The men answered, it's not for your good works, it's because you called yourself God. Jesus replied, are you saying that I'm blaspheming because I said I was the son of God? The Father is in me and I am in the Father. The angry man realized no one wanted to cast the first stone. So they dropped their rocks and left Jesus alone. That story is from John chapter 10. Jesus had more to say in this chapter, which I would like to read for you now. Truly, truly, I say unto you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but comes in another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls them by name, and he leads them out. Jesus said, I am the door for the sheep. If anybody enters by me, he will be saved and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. Amen. Yeah, by the market what car. What kind of car was I driving? It was a red um, uh, a Kia, I think. Dang! It was dark. It was really dark. I think it was a red Kia, man. Get out of here. Go! Go! Here's your purse, ma'am. Thank you, kind sir. I wish there were more nice men like you out there. Can I ever repay you? Do you need some cash? You know when I really need your help? It's the bus stop. The bus stop? Yeah. He grabbed a hold no. of my arm! I said he was letting me go! Excuse me, ma'am. There's a car.
car that was broken down in your parking lot probably got towed. Do you happen to know where that tow truck took it? Can you tell me why you abandoned it? Well, I didn't abandon my car, ma'am. I wouldn't do that. I was changing out the tire and a group of thugs attacked me, hit me with a tire iron. I barely even remember my own name. I guess that explains all the blood. Yes, ma'am. Obviously, though, thank God I was able to walk away from that. But like I said, I don't remember nothing. I need to find my car. Maybe it has a clue to where I live, who I am. I want am. you to know that I did wait a while to call the towing company. I was waiting for the owner to return. And I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. And you were in a no parking zone. I did not know that. And I'm not questioning why you called the tow truck company, ma'am. Then why are you here? I doubt it's for the fresh produce. No, ma'am. Like I said, I just need to find my car. I need to find those clues so I can find out who I am. Tow truck company. Towing company. One row towing. One row towing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. One row towing. Do you know where Monroe towing is? Couple of blocks up Fifth. Turn left on Monroe Avenue. Fifth Avenue, Monroe. Avenue. It's called Monroe Towing since it's located on Monroe Avenue. Obviously, right? I thank you. And I know this is going to sound stupid. You might even get mad at me. But do you happen to know the make, model, and color of my car? You don't know the make or model of your own car? Like I said, I got hit in the head. I don't even know my own name. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was a red Kia. A red Kia. I own a red Kia. I'm not judging. Thank you. Why don't you take some apples for your trip? Can I get one for my dog? Of course. You're welcome. God bless you. Monroe Avenue, right? Monroe Avenue. Monroe Avenue. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Stay. I got something to do. Stay. Stay. Sit. Hey, can you go down on 8th and Jefferson and take care of this lady on a tow? Yeah. You know where you want me to take it? You want me to take an impound or what? Let's just bring it here, but right now, take your lunch before you go do that. It'll be about an hour or so if you get down there. All right. Can I help you? Yeah. Was there a car, a red Kia? that was towed from that little market down there on 5th. Yeah, we got that here. All right, thank you, thank you. I need to get in that car. I need to get in that car. You got any money? I don't have money on me, no. What's your name? That's the problem, I don't know my name. What, wait a minute, hold on. You got no money, you don't know your name, and you want me to release a vehicle to you? Look, buddy, no money, no car. That's just the way it works around, that's the rules here, buddy. If you knew my story, if you just, just hear me out, just, just hear me out, man, okay? Look, you right, would understand. Right, keep it short, I ain't got all day here. All right. I was down at that little market, had a flat tire, changing out the tire, some thugs hit me in the head. That's why I don't know my name. I've been wandering the streets. I, hey, I look, feel like I thought I told you to keep it short. I ain't got all day here, I got work. You're not you. listening. You're not listening, all right? Listen, buddy, I ain't got time. This is my life. Hey, no money, no car, no exceptions. You got it? Now, if you don't mind, kindly see yourself out of here. I got work to do, okay? I'm busy here. You just can't give me the VIN? No, I can't give you the VIN. Look, buddy, you want me to get into the DMV and get personal information off the database and give you your car? Look, no money, no car, no exceptions. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of busy today. Kindly see yourself out. Look. All right? Before I call the cops on you. Thanks for being nice. Yeah, I hope for the cops come here and throw you in the jail where you belong. Beautiful, man. Hey, if we go do that tow, if we take your lunch, you mind searching around the building? Make sure that guy's gone. Good idea, boss. told you to get out of here. Now go. Get. Are you Marvin? Is 
Is this your home? Huh? Is this your home? Your sanctity, God send your son to me. 